Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about URL shortening and we'll achieve URL shortening using a specific concept called vanity URLs. So as part of this tutorial, we'll talk about vanity URL and end of this tutorial, I'll compare this vanity URL concept with Apache redirect rules. So let's understand what we are going to achieve as part of this tutorial. Let's say I have a page called author and I want to access that page author page using a specific URL shorthand URL called author hyphen info or any other whatever as per your need. So we'll talk about how to achieve this. So we could use uh, ETC mappings, but ETC mappings are used for the broader pages means more the more number of pages, but we are talking about a particular page here. So either we can write a Apache rewrite rule at Apache end, but this can be achieved at a AEM end as well. And the concept you will be using for to achieve this shorthand URL is vanity URL. So before we move on further, let's understand, let's see in AEM how you create a AEM vanity URL for a particular page. So to add vanity URL, they a specific field available in your page properties right so go there go to the page properties and in the basic you will have a specific section called vanity url and you can multiple vanity url to a particular page let me add it here so these vanity urls are mapped as a sling mapping means this contain as this is stored as a sling mapping in aem uh, so these are stored as a sling mapping and there is an internal redirect created for each mapping in AEM. So now let me save it and let's publish this. Publish this page. Publish this page. So this vanity URL is based on page, not domain. That is one, one more difference between ETC mapping and vanity URL. So vanity URL work on both author and publish. So if you hit this, this page is accessible here. And even if I go to publish, so if you check here, let's go to the publish. and page is accessible using vanity URL on publish as well. So it's straightforward, very simple. Your author can add as many as number of vanity URL as per the business need. But now let me access this page using dispatcher. So if you have already followed our dispatcher series where I explain how to create a domain locally. So this is my locally running domain, nothing specific. And this is mapped to my AM geek website. So now, that page is under this AM Geeks website. So now let me access this page using domain uh, a dispatcher or domain here. Okay, so page was cached. So if I hit now after clearing cache, so the page is not accessible using vanity URL over my dispatcher or over my web server. What is the problem here? Right now, let's go back to the concepts first. So now what was happening earlier, I was making request straight away to my AEM and AEM had all the information about vanity URL and what is mapping, what is what page is being mapped to the vanity URL. But when a end user, when there is a Apache uh, web server or dispatcher in between end user and my AEM, which is you actually the case in all real time environment websites. So what happened? my end user make a request to this uh, apache web server apache did not understand what is this so it apache forward that request to aem but hey is catch my rule won't allow to send this request to aem because in dispatcher we only allow content starting from slash content slash my website but now what is the request request is starting from author slash author hyphen info which is not allowed so when you make this request dispatcher will not send this request and it will block this request here itself that's the reason you see there 404 page not found and which is correct because we cannot allow each and every request let's say today you allow this request intentionally tomorrow you can have some other vanity urls right so as per the standard rule as per the recommendation 
content should be allowed only starting from slash content slash your websites right so here is a problem now the actual concept comes into picture because setting up vanity url on am was straightforward now you must understand what you will be doing at dispatcher level so how actually this vanity url set up in a whole environment means author and dispatcher means am and uh, web server so what happened now you have to make configurations as two places one your am publish another one in your dispatcher configuration in am publish you will install a package that package is available over adobe software download center i'll give you a link you can download it from there you have to only and only install that package and you are done with am configuration at dispatcher level you will add a specific tag in your farm file for vanity url and that is the tricky part that is straightforward you just need to add three lines and you are done okay let me show you what we gonna do with dispatcher configuration so to allow vanity on your dispatcher you have to add a specific tag called slash vanity underscore urls and there's a three properties one is url slash url and this is the path of the service which actually facilitate your vanity urls in aem okay so this is the path of service in aem even if you see that this is starting from lips this is the local file this is local file on your web server okay on your apache where dispatcher write all the vanity urls in your uh, this web server okay apache web server actually what happened this service return all the vanities available in your am and dispatcher store those in this file so that this can frequently check the vanity urls here and map with the specific page in am this is the time delay between the consecutive calls consecutive calls to fetch uh, this vanity urls from am okay these are three things you have to add you have to make sure this path means your web server should have the right access to this file you can add this file anywhere it's up to you but this file should have access right for the this web server uh, user whatever the web server user is that should have the access right to this file okay and you are done now let me save it and let me restart before that let me show you the package as well even i will leave the path of that package in description so this is the package you should install from adobe software download vanity hyphen component and as per whenever you need whenever you download please download the latest version and that will be available latest version there so this you have to install on your published instance so let me restart my apache and let me clear the cache as well so apache has been restarted if i hit now it should be accessible see now it's accessible so you have to add a entry means you have to add a configuration in your farm file now let's see what happened to that particular file so that file was if i go here file was temp vanity url so let me go to this place and show you what actually this file has so i reach temp let me do vi and vanity file so if you see here the two vanities are available first one is my path author hyphen info and another one is jackson hyphen exporter so there only two vanities are available as per as as of now in my am publish instance so these vanities are stored in a particular file in your web server so these vanity urls are maintained as a sling mapping if you have many many when uh, this sling mapping or the vanity urls it may impact the performance of your am instance so in such cases it is recommended to write a apache redirect rule until unless you ha don't have any other option so this can be achieved as i said vanity url and apache redirect rule or rewrite rule so which one should be preferred ideally it's all depend on the architecture of your project but the re this redirect rules or rewrite rules should be preferred over this vanity url so but still there are some cases where you need this so let's assume 
you are working on a particular site where you have to add these vanity URLs or the shorthand URL on daily basis. Let's say you have to change or update daily. So in that case, you have to give this control to a content author and you have to set up vanity URL. But if you're doing frequent, you know, occasionally like uh, once or twice in a week or month, in that case, this should be added in redirect this as part of redirect rule. Again, adding vanity URL straightforward, you just need a configuration at a one time later on your content author or the non technical guys can maintain this at as per the business but to add a redirect rule you obviously need a devops guy or a particular person who actually maintain these uh, configurations means apache configurations so as per your uh, project or as per your business you can take a decision so these uh, these uh, redirect rules are maintained at a web server so you need a devops guy but this re vanity urls maintain as part of content so if you move content those rules will also move with the content and again this is expensive operation in terms of resources let's say you have thousands or uh, this sling mapping or the vanity urls it may impact your aem performance but these are doesn't you know impact if you you can write any number of redirect rules so it's it won't impact your performance at all. So this was the very simple topic. The only important part in this topic was dispatcher configuration, how you should make those. If you have any question, add your comment. Thank you.